What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about Zabbix dashboards and uh, modern graph widget in particular. How this modern graph widget is... Uh, what's the algorithm of uh, like uh, s choosing the colors of the lines and uh, there will be an attempt from my side like how hard it is to tell the widget to generate random colors for one data set. Uh, so this video will be answer on that uh, question. And uh, to be uh, to highlight like what's the problem in my opinion, uh, here we have the widget and uh, we have a base color. It's uh, this time it's like uh, bluish something and uh, all lines are sort of blue. Uh, some lines are darker blue, some are lighter blue and if we uh, select uh, like different uh, data set color then uh, still like all the colors are uh, more like a, I don't know, sunset that the previous one was uh, waves at the beach and, and this is maybe like beautiful sunset or something. But uh, from the technical perspective, from the product productivity perspective, I think it's not very useful. Like all the colors are mushed up uh, red and uh, it's not nice. And I, I was really like thinking there should be some algorithm behind like uh, it, it's not like w when we create this um, visually pleasing effect uh, it, like if we create the trans transparency then uh, or, or filament it looks kind of beautiful like the management will be excited oh Zabbix looks so nice but yeah uh, as I said from practicality uh, it's I don't know <laughs> not usable uh, from my point of view and I, I was looking on this graph like, is there an algorithm? Can we kind of interrupt this algorithm and introduce our own algorithm to uh, have some randomness here uh, in the colors? And sure enough, uh, it's it's not hard at all. Like uh, there is like a single file uh, inside the um, server and uh, uh, if we visit the front end, like uh, this is the front end path of your um, like PHP files, please enter this directory. Uh, in my situation, it's a little bit different, this one. And then we need to like open this uh, pa uh, this file, uh, widgets, SVG graph, and, and there is this uh, C. Uh, S, C, A, V, G, and, and so on, like open this file and inside this file we can search get color something. And there is actually like I, I did figure out uh, like th there is a function get color variantations and you see like this function is called in plural uh, and also the name of variable is called in plural and uh, this is the key thing like uh, I'm not 100% sure, but it really looks like uh, the function is uh, locating how many items user specified for the input and based on the amount of items, it will gen generate those colors, like those reddish or bluish colors. And what I figure out, like we can simply override the outcome, like this is the, uh, like some variable which will hold some colors inside. And what we can do is like we can introduce another uh, data set. Uh, I mean, not data set, but uh, like overwrite this variable uh, just right uh, after this function here. Uh, we can tell uh, that uh, let's uh, have completely like static colors, not use that algorithm who is uh, generating fancy looking colors, but let's use a very predefined palette of colors. And this is like the array. And of course, like the, the amount of items maybe are two or three, and I'm quite aggressively like uh, defining the palette for 20 uh, most uh, interesting random colors. And um, I uh, also implemented this um, special condition uh, because um, when users selecting multiple data sets, uh, it can be dangerous uh, if uh, 
all data sets will use this my uh, this algorithm I'm uh, like injecting in the middle and uh, so to not uh, influence how it works already uh, so it does not create the damage too much uh, I'm introducing like a special a uh, keyword a, a special random color code how I can tell the widget please generate random colors and uh, this is my special code 247003 so what would happen here like if we save the file click and visit back the front end and if I would uh, like clone the widget at first let's uh, like resize it just a little bit like this uh, copy and clone again and now uh, that special random code uh, not, not uh, here like inside the PHP file I told like there is a keyword how to access the random colors and uh, uh, that keyword was 247003 uh, which is this green stuff and it, it's, it, it shows green and once I hit enter some magic happens uh, enter and you see here already we have random colors uh, because I override that um, array of uh, color palette and if I cl click apply then like this is the outcome <laughs> and the question is like what do you like better this uh, beautiful looking fancy um, like vocation um, <laughs> waves and, and sea or uh, a little bit more on practical side we can have uh, a nice random colors for each line um, yeah that is everything I wanted to, to uh, say here um, this patch um, like this PHP modification of course it will be lost after you upgrade to the next major uh, I mean when you do the minor upgrade right now I'm on Zabbix 706 uh, when I do the DNF upgrade and upgrade the front-end packages then uh, this file will be overridden and I need to redo that patch uh, and yeah that, that's some some maintenance cost um, okay uh, that is everything for this video uh, like all the instructions you can have a look in at the bottom of um, video description uh, th there will be like two or three commands how to access that file how to open the file where exactly ins insert this line this uh, custom uh, color palette uh, and uh, thank you for watching if you find it useful give it a thumbs up and goodbye